The reality is, unboxings are not as exciting as they used to be because for the most part you're getting the phone in the box and maybe a cable. So what's the best way to make this a more exciting experience? Let's go ahead and unbox every single color of the brand new Pixel 7 Pro. We're talking about Hazel, Obsidian, as well as Snow. Last but not least, of course, the brand new Pixel Watch. And let's go ahead and top it off with a nice case from Bellroy, a leather case for the Pixel 7 Pro. This is TK. Let's go ahead and check out all of the Pixel 7 Pros from Google. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here is everything that we have. The Pixel 7 Pro in snow, hazel, as well as obsidian. Of course, the Pixel Watch as well in LTE model. There's a GPS model as well. Uh, and there's, of course, a leather case made specifically for the Pixel 7 Pro by Bellroy. And of course, this is going to be really good. Uh, and you can see here, made for the Google Pixel. So it works really good for the Pixel 7 Pro. Starting off with the Google Pixel Watch, this is the LTE model. Make sure that you remember this also has built-in Fitbit functionality. This is the first collaboration between Google and Fitbit since they were acquired not that long ago. Uh, there's a few different colors as far as the watch itself as well as the band itself. And of course, there's a GPS model of this. Uh, it is running Wear OS 3.5, the latest version of Wear OS for wearables available from Google. And of course, it features the Google Assistant. And there you have it. This is the Pixel Watch itself. Again, uh, aesthetically, they look pretty much the same. The LTE and non-LTE model pretty much look the same. They have the same capacity, same display, same PPI. And of course, you can definitely enjoy uh, the crown that we have in here. Pushing the button down brings down the notification panel. And of course, if you swipe up, go back home, swipe back to the bottom, you can also see that it works um, from the bottom to the side. You can swipe from the left, swipe in, bring in a whole bunch of different options in there. It looks and it functions very, very nice. Now in the box, you pretty much get the watch itself as well as the wireless charger. The wireless charger is a USB-C charger, so you need to connect to that. Make sure you keep that in mind. And it is a wireless charger that it is magnetic on the top end, not on the bottom. So all it takes for charging it up, pretty much put it at the bottom. And then of course, it starts charging. You get a nice little chime. It's still at 100%, obviously, since I just got it set up. But it looks really nice and you get a nice little uh, kind of like an always on display, but uh, a nightstand type of an experience. And then when you're done, pick it up and it's pretty much ready to go. Uh, this is a proprietary charger, so pretty much just works with the Pixel Watch. Uh, although I've seen or I've heard where the uh, charger from the Samsung watch, the, Gal uh, the Galaxy Watch 5 does work with this, I find that obviously since they included in the box, this is definitely very nice. It is magnetic on this end, so if in case you want to put it under the table connected to metal, this is going to be perfectly fine. Now, the pixel density that we have in here is definitely uh, pretty nice at 320 PPI. Uh, the battery itself is 294 uh, milliampere battery, it has GPS and 4G LTE, runs the Exynos 9110 as the processor, Wear OS 3.5, uh, it has two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage, a microphone and a speaker. You can definitely see them sitting right there. And of course, Fitbit integration at the end. Uh, it does feature the new mechanism for interlocking. So your ability of actually locking and unlocking the, the actual straps is pretty simple. But this watch face pretty much just mesmerizes me. So I figured why not put it on this? And of course, to enjoy it with you guys. So here we have them, the Pixel 7 Pros, the series of Pixel 7 Pros. Again, the colors are Hazel, Snow, and Obsidian. Let's go ahead and start off with the Hazel. And then, of course, we'll finish it off with the Pro. Well, the last one here are the Obsidian. And uh, we'll definitely see which one actually looks the better and which one uh, doesn't show fingerprints as much in case you want to run your phone without a case. So here we have it, the Hazel, the first one. We'll go ahead and put it on the box. Let's open up the second one. Now let's go ahead and open up the snow. Whoa, look at that. The snow looks really, really nice. Now that we've done the Hazel and the snow, let's go ahead and open up the Obsidian. Wow, <laughs> they all look absolutely amazing. I will say this, that each one of them has a different visor at the back, and I'm gonna call them visors because they kind of look like visors. The obsidian obviously being the, uh, the darkest one because it tries to match the backing. And of course here we have uh, the silver one and it's slightly more of a gold tone coming here on the hazel. One thing to mention, they're all featuring the same 50 megapixel primary shooter. It's gonna be at the 1.2 micron sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and of course that telephoto 48 megapixel primary uh, main sensor in the back, a microphone, a dual tone LED flash, 
wireless charging 5000 milliampere battery on each one of these devices that are going to be supported with up to 30 watt charging uh, power well pd delivery charging if you have that to be able to charge up your phone from zero to 50 percent in about 30 minutes uh, the processor on these devices is the tensor g2 on all three of these obviously running the titan m2 so second generation of both of those and we're going to be featuring 12 gigs of ram on all the variants and the difference in storage is going to be anywhere from 128 all the way to 256 as well as 512 gigs of internal storage so pick the one that you'd like and of course you'll be able to get the best performance uh, out of them since they all feature 12 gigs of ram uh, but let's go ahead and actually switch them over so let's go ahead and pick up let's go ahead and with the hazel one so fingerprint scanner usb pc port on the bottom we have a single sim card supported here on the left although it does also support uh, in eSIM. so technically a dual sim device but physical one nano sim and an eSIM. Uh, we have volume down volume up power button now the display that we have here let's go ahead and take this guy off is a 6.7 inch display 120 hertz refresh rate ltpo at 512 ppi uh, it is obviously a uh, qhd plus so it's uh, definitely the higher resolution than the pixel 7 and the front facing camera now also supports face unlock which is something that's new to pixel devices sub six, uh, sub six technology supported as well as mm wave depending on where you're picking it up depending on the carrier of course but overall what i have here since this the unlock model is going to work perfectly fine again beautiful display beautiful design and of course a great camera array on the brand new pixel 7 pro and this one's the hazel you know similar experience on the other guys now the last thing i want to mention of course is that we do get the instruction manual although very small most of it is going to be online we do have an otg adapter for USB C to USB A to be able to connect your old device in case you want to be able to transfer uh, information over wire and of course they include a USB C to c cable to be able to transfer our data or of course be able to charge it uh, with the box no charger in the box and it's going to be pretty much across most pixel devices on the market right now even the Pixel 6a did not come with one. But again, supported with a 30 watt power delivery charger, zero to 50% in about 30 minutes. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys wanna see how does this Bellroy case look. And of course, it's one of a really nice one. And I chose this color, but it definitely looks really good. There's a few other options available as well. Uh, pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and slide it from the side and it looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, nice soft material on the inside. And of course, the leather is on the outside. Uh, it covers all of the buttons as well as it opens up uh, openings at the bottom as well as on the top for the microphone. And we got, of course, that nice little opening on the back. So first, we're going to basically put it on here. This is the hazel. This is going to look pretty nice. I'll go ahead and put it in there. Let's give it a second to push in. And you can definitely see that it nice. It has a very nice, slightly different tint. You can see that in person. I don't know if it shows up that much on camera. It's an ever so slightly goldish uh, tone here that we have on the visor, as opposed to what we have on the on the snow or the obsidian. Again, buttons are covered. There's a nice little lip raise here for the cover on the back so that when you put the cameras on or the phone on the table, it doesn't slam straight up. And you even have the same lip in the front for the display so that it raises the display ever so nicely from the table when you put it on. And it should be pretty nice with uh, glass protectors. I do have the white stone dome glass that's going to be coming up in a separate video very shortly. Um, overall, very nice. Everything is covered. An opening at the bottom. Let's go ahead and give it a second to focus. Looks really good. An opening at the top with the microphone and it feels really nice. And it just really uh, accents the uh, experience. And of course, we have the word Bellroy here on the bottom. Now, the first thing we'll notice, obviously, the big design, uh, they stuck to the same visor design from what we saw last year with the Pixel 6 Pro to the Pixel 7 Pro. Although I like the new aesthetics that we have here with a little bit more of a cutout and it, lives us, it gives us the ability of seeing it a little bit more. And the accent with the silver coloring, depending on the model that you're going, definitely looks really nice. Um, overall, we'll notice that the backing pretty much kind of continues the same aesthetics. It looks really nice. The volume rocker, the power buttons are all in the same spot. The microphone kind of sits in the same area as well. It's going to give them a second to, to actually show up. Um, although we did, we do have that nice little opening here at the top, and I think that's for better antenna management. Um, on the bottom, it's pretty much a straightforward experience. Same thing, opening slits at the bottom, although it seems like they're a little bit bigger on the Pixel 7 Pro. Uh, what I would probably say is overall, if you're familiar with the Pixel 6a, the Pixel 7, uh, sorry, the Pixel 6a, 6 Pro, you're not going to be disappointed. And the design is absolutely stunning and easily recognized. So this is definitely an iconic look for Pixel devices going forward from Google. So between the three, I will say this much. I like all three colors. They all look very, very nice. But due to the fact that I'm coming in from the darker, uh, it's obviously it wasn't called Obsidian last year. Uh, but since I'm coming from that color on the Pixel 6 Pro, I'm probably going to be going more with one of these two as far as the colors that I like. I know a lot of people uh, love the snow and a lot of people love the hazel. Let me know in the comments below which one do you guys like. But before we go too far, I want to make sure to do a couple of things. And that's basically going to be touching, 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 touching. And that's mostly because I want to be able to get and put as many fingerprints on this and see which one will show the most. So now that we've done all of the touching, let's see how did the fingerprints match on this device. So here, this is the first one, the obsidian one. Let's go ahead and look over here on the side. 
you know what it's not bad it's not bad at all actually you know what it, it doesn't show as much and actually i can see a few little options here obviously since it's a darker color it will stand out a little bit more let's go ahead and see on the snow and i'm imagining the snow one is almost invisible yeah i mean unless with the fact that i can see the reflection of the light it's almost impossible to tell if there is any fingerprints and that's just dust that's not fingerprint on the back and of course the color looks absolutely fantastic i'll go ahead and just take this one yeah, it just keeps keep adding dust tk and the last one at least obviously is going to be here on the hazel let's see how this one looks and you know honestly hazel is also harder to tell although i can see it more so if i have to kind of grade it from best to worst this almost invisible you can't see it here you can barely see it and this shows a little bit more mostly because of the contrast and color so from a, a fingerprint uh, camouflage type of an experience i feel like it goes first is the best here second best third best but again all three definitely don't show them very clearly which is very nice definitely uh, done very good job for, for fingerprint rejection here on the back i hope that you enjoyed this epic unboxing and i do want to say thank you very much to my friends for allowing me to have their devices to unbox because i didn't just buy all of these devices to do an unboxing but i will say that Google's been doing a great job putting together some great options, the design upgrades that we got from last year. It feels very similar to what we had with the 6 Pro. So if you use the 6 Pro, you're not going to be uh, disappointed. Same large display, beautiful display, uh, great backing, slightly bigger battery, the updated processors, and of course, the cameras on this are, well, from what I've seen so far, look absolutely fantastic. But with that being said, this is my epic unboxing of the lineup of Pixel 7 Pros in all colors, Hazel, Snow, and Obsidian. Of course, the Pixel Watch with LTE. Last but not least is the beautiful leather case from Bellroy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found something that, um, you know, something that fits your needs. So as usual, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you in the next video. And of course, with more content on Pixel 7 Pros on this channel.